Okay, now we're going to talk about the center section. Uh, let's do some component identification uh, and then we'll talk about what's going on. So first of all, in the center here you see we have this uh, eccentric cam and roller that's rolling around and then we have this linear movement carriage, all right? That carriage is connected to the posts that go out to the diaphragms. So what we're going to do now is we're going to stop the animation and we're going to talk about exactly what's going on here. So first of all, again, I'm going to go back to the eccentric cam with the roller. That's rolling around and it's making contact with the linear carriage, providing that linear movement, all right? Um, when this roller is moving around and it's pulling on this diaphragm right here, it's contacting this pin and it's actually pulling this pin back, which is pulling the diaphragm out of the cavity. On the other side, this diaphragm is supposed to be moving into the cavity, all right? These pins right here are free-floating or sliding within the carriage. So in the center section, as I mentioned earlier, this area right here has a charge, an air charge on it. That charge has to be 10 PSI higher than the fluid pressure at the outlet of the pump, okay? So what's happening is, this pressure in the center section is actually on the back side of this diaphragm and it's pushing, it's distributing evenly, pushing this diaphragm into the cavity, all right? This air pressure charge being 10 PSI higher than the fluid is very important uh, for both normal operation, batching, and metering, okay? If this is too low of a charge, the pump's gonna stall out. If it's too high of a charge, you're gonna produce higher pulsation or fluid pulsation out of the outlet of the pump, okay? Another benefit to having this air charge here is it's gonna improve the life expectancy of the diaphragm pump compared to direct drive electric diaphragm pumps, double diaphragm pumps, all right? On, on direct drive electric double diaphragm pumps, all the force is being pushed right on the pin and all that force is supported right here, okay? With this air charge, again, we can distribute that force evenly on the back side of the diaphragm, and that's gonna give us the improved life expectancy of that diaphragm. 